division and, uh, and Wrexham are currently fourth. Wrexham have lost just, who have lost two games away from home this season and have won three. So it's three wins, four draws and two losses for Wrexham away from home. The, the, the teams for this, afternoon ma this afternoon's matches, Burnley are unchanged. So in goal is Chris Pearce. Number two, Ian Meesham has just been rewarded with an 18-month contract. Number three, Andy Farrell. Number four, Ian of Britain. Number five, the captain, Steve Davis. Number six, Steve Gardner. Number seven, Winston White. Number eight, Georgia Garner. Number nine, Burnley's top goal scorer this season, Brendan O'Connell. Number 10 is Paul Comstiff. Number 11, Paul Atkinson. And the two substitutes for Burnley this afternoon are Gary Rowell and Ashley Oskin. For Wrexham in goal is Mark Salmon. Number two, Neil Salafiel. Number three, Darren Wright. Number four, Jeff Hunter. Number five, Mike Williams. Number six, a very familiar name, Joey Jones, a veteran Welsh player. Number seven, Roger Priest. Number eight, another, an ex-Claret, Brian Flynn. Number nine, Steve Buxton. Number 10, Kevin Russell. And number 11, John Borden. Wrexham subs today are Ollie Cairns and Graham Cooper. So Burnley will be attacking the B all end in the first half and it will be George O'Garney and Paul Comstiff to, to get the game in motion. A vital game for both teams. Wrexham just two points behind the current leaders. So a win today mathematically could put Wrexham top of the league. But really, it's vital for Burnley to win. They haven't won at home since they defeated Cambridge United 2-0. And I'm sure all the Pirates fans will be hoping for a victory this afternoon. The referee is Mr. Trelford Mills from Barnsley. And the linesmen are Mr. A. Kale with the red flag and Mr. J. G. Wilkinson with the yellow flag. So, um, we're away. Oh, Garney. And uh, not a very good start because... Uh, they couldn't take, take the centre kick properly, but, so it will be retaken with both Comstiff and Ogarne. And away we go. Comes down to Farrell. Farrell to Atkinson now. Atkinson looking for Ogarne. It's a fierce ch challenge there by the Wrexham player, and he has to give away the free kick. Andy Farrell with a free kick. Farrell looking for O'Connell. Comes to George Ogarne. But it just bounced off George Garner's chest and went for a goal kick. Wrexham's uh, goalkeeper's Mark Salmon, Mark Salmon, who's been very, uh, who's very highly rated. Burnley, who defeated uh, Wrexham, did a double over Wrexham last season, winning 1 0 at Turf Moor and 3 1 at Wrexham. They also defeated Wrexham in the Littlewoods Cup, Wrexham uh, winning the first leg 1 0 at the race course ground, but Burnley won 3 0 to take the match 3 1 on aggregate. Wrexham on the attack and it comes to number 10 now, Russell. Russell, Russell shoots and it's well wide, but it's kept in play by John Boyne. John Boyne keeps it in play. Brian Flynn now. Can Brian Flynn cross it? He can't. He plays it to number four, Hunter. What chance for Hunter? Good shot by Hunter, but it goes well wide. And for once, uh, Ian Britton is not the smallest player on the field uh, this afternoon. That honour goes to uh, Brian Flynn. But a good move there by uh, Wrexham. But Chris... Uh, Pierce watched it comfortably go wide. Chris Pierce in blue today, obviously, because Wrexham are wearing their green. And it would Pierce to take the goal kick. Oh, Garney underneath this one. Comes to Brendan O'Connell to Comstiff. Bit short, really, for Comstiff. Winston White chasing it. Darren Wright and White challenging for the ball. And it's, uh, I think it's a foul by Winston Watt. Quite a few, a couple of hundred from Wrexham for this afternoon's match. Brendan O'Connell goes for the ball. Can George O'Garney get to it? He can't. And uh, Wrexham doing well. Brian Flynn looking for Steve Garner as well. Brian Flynn looking for Steve Buxton. Steve Garner got in there well first. Misham now to O'Connell. O'Connell oh, really got our oh, challenge there with the number nine. Yeah, Buxton and Burnley, another throw in for Burnley. Just into the Wrexham half. Misham looking for, what's the, what's the ball in, the ball didn't go in play there. And uh, Ian Britton decides to take the throw in. Britton to Davis now. Is that, is that, Davis as well there, comes forward well. To Farrell now, can Farrell knock it wide to Atkinson? He can. Atkinson looking for Comstiff, but it's a 
he can't find his man and uh, Southfield just lets the ball run out of play. Atkinson trying to redeem himself and Burnley get a throw in with Farrell. <laughs> Garner gets in well there. Well, Garner comes to Brendan O'Connell, but uh, the referee, Mr Mills, uh, saw a foul there by Georgia Garner. So it's still Burnley nil, Wrexham nil. As Southfield takes a kick. He's looking for Russell there. Russell does well to hold the ball up. But uh, Russell knocked the ball out to play, so it's a Burnley throwing to be taken by Andy Farrell. Comes to number five, Williams. But Steve Davis gets in well first. Ball played forward. Steve, and Steve Garner uh, just that lets it run out of play for uh, Burnley throwing. Burnley goal kicks. <laughs> Burnley, of course, they've got two former uh, Wrexham players in their ranks this afternoon. Chris Pearson and Paul Comstiff. Chris Pearson, who cost £4,000, and Paul Comstiff, who cost £8,000. Both of those signings were made in the uh, summer of uh, 87 as Pierce kicks long. Good header by Comstiff, but uh, right clears. Ian Britton, uh, after this one, and Ian Britton knocks a good ball wide to Misham. Misham to Winston White. Winston White, Steve Davis, a bit of time. Looking for Brendan O'Connell. O'Connell controls well on the chest, but uh, Brian Flynn collects the ball. Comes to straight to Farrell. Garner to Winston White. Oh, challenge there by Joy Jones. And the uh, referee has decided to give that a free kick for Burnley. Both Winston White and uh, Georgia Garney around at this free kick, but I think it will be the uh, diminutive Scott to take the free kick. He finds Winston White. Misha makes himself available, but Winston White still has the ball. Can White get a cross in? But he wins himself a throw in. And Georgia Garney now to Misham. Good ball in for Misham. Comsley flicks it down. Can O'Connell turn? It's crowded out. And Wrexham on a quick, good ball there. But Steve Davis easily gets it back to Chris Pierce. But a good pass there. Misham has the ball now. Can Ian Britton get the ball? He, he wins himself a throw-in. Oh, Garney makes himself available. Winston White now. Fans Farrell. Farrell to O'Garney, and that's a lovely ball by O'Garney. Can Farrell knock it to White? Winston White to Britain. Britain shoots. Good effort there by Ian Britain. And the ball just goes over. I think there was an offside there, but uh, a good effort there by Ian Britain. Misham and White did well. And a good shot from Ian Britain there from about 22 yards. And the ball just flew over Mark Salmon's crossbar. So that's the best opportunity so far of the game. And the score, but the score still remains Burnley nil, Wrexham nil. As a Wrexham player got an injury, he seems to be clutching it, his fingers, uh, his thumb. And the Wrexham player comes to the sideline. And he goes off the field. It's number four. Jeff Hunter. Ball comes with good header. Giorgio Garni now. What can Giorgio Garni do? Nobody's available. But Andy Farrell picks up the ball now. Ball comes now. Ball comes shoots. So it could have got fallen for Giorgio Garni, but uh, Rex and break. But they give it straight to Farrell. Farrell knocks a great ball to Paul Comstiff. Paul Comstiff still got the ball now. Can Comstiff find the man? What's that? A good and the Burnley fans there appealed as though that Mark Salmon caught the ball and it crossed the line, but uh, the fans appealed, but none of the Burnley players uh, appealed. Though. 
So it's a good start so far for Burnley. Andy Farrell heads it, but he can only knock the ball out for throwing. And number four, Jeff Hunter comes back on the field. So it'll be uh, Salafield, Neil Salafield to take the throwing. Just inside the Burnley half. Andy Farrell gets in well. Paul Atkinson to Comstiff. Britain now knocks it wide to Meesham. Meesham, good ball to O'Connell. Britain to Atkinson, it's a bit tight. Atkinson knocks a good ball wide to Farrell. O'Connell making a good foot run running forward, but uh, it's a bit too much strength on the ball from uh, Farrell. But a good run there by uh, O'Connell. And Farrell spotted him well, but the ball j just over it. And it will be another f goal kick to be taken by Mark Salmon. As he kicks long, good kick there by the keeper. Farrell wins the ball easily. And it's uh, Paul Atkinson looking for George Agarney, but uh, George Jones just lets the ball go back to the keeper. Garner and Buxton going up for this one. Comes to Russell. But he's tackled well by Davis. Comes to Atkinson. And Atkinson does well to knock it back to Garner. Now it comes back to Steve Davis. Davis back to Pierce. Still very light rain falling at Turf Moor. Bit greasy on top. Which could prove that. As Atkinson looks for O'Connor and O'Connell. Farrell knocks it forward. Atkinson, it's all very tight. Comes to Comstiff. Comstiff finds George O'Garney wide on the left. Brendan O'Connell and Winston White in the centre. Comstiff's joined him now. Can Britain get a cross in? He's looking for Comstiff. Comstiff flicks it on. Good flick on by Comstiff, but uh, Brendan O'Connell just couldn't quite get there. And the Wrexham keeper once again could just about manage to get it first. So encouraging start for Burnley. Misham chasing this one. Misham can only find number 11 at Borden, but a good ta tackle by Winston White. Russell now has the ball. And Buxton, pardon, sorry, back to Brian Flynn. Brian Flynn to Darren Wright, but he loses it to Ian Britton. Britton looking for Winston White. Can Winston fight? Looking for George Agarne. And Joy Jones ahead is a bad challenge. And, and the referee's having words with uh, Joy Jones. And uh, he's having words with Joy Jones. Winston White was clear. And will the referee book uh, Joy Jones there? And he's going to book Joy Jones. Well, I thought he got the book out, but... Uh, he's having a severe ticking off. And Joy Jones uh, escapes there without a caution. Or did he get booked? Steve Davis now to O'Connell. O'Connell looking for Britain, but it's a bit short. Joy Jones is in his first spell with the, the North Wales team. And he, now it's, he has to watch as Brendan O'Connell has a ball. But Brendan O'Connell once again gives the ball away. Brian Flynn showing a bit of good little skill. And Steve Davis there fouls uh, Brian Flynn. As uh, it will be the left full back, Darren Wright, to take this free kick. This time it's Brendan O'Connell getting a lecture from uh, Mr. Chalford Mills. As uh, Wright is prepared to take the free kick. Comes to John Borden. What can he do? Uh, Meesham just gets a foot in there. Good challenge by Comstiff. But as well there, Darren Wright. Steve Garner plays it away, but he can only find oh, Jeff Hunter. 
Brian Flynn to number two, Southfield. Number 10, Russell. Russell turns, gone, and knocks a great ball over. And Wrexham have taken the lay through. John Borden. It's a lovely goal by Wrexham. Created by Russell. And Borden there had a plenty of time to just knock the ball past Chris Pierce. And Wrexham have taken the lead. So it's Burnley nil, Wrexham one. And the goal scorer is number 11, John Borden. So Burnley have had the best start, who've been playing the better football, find themselves one goal to nil down. Comes to Meesham. And it's a throw in to be taken by Ian Meesham now. Looks for O'Connell, O'Connell takes it well on the chest, O'Gone. O'Connell has the ball, finds Winston White. Can Winston White shoot? Plays it to Britain, Britain to Farrell, it's a bit short. And now it comes to Paul Atkinson. Atkinson looking for Winston White. Can Winston White get in there? And it's a corner for Burnley. And John and John Borden who's just John Borden has just scored after there's some good defending there. As Winston White is prepared to take the uh, corner for uh, Burnley. With his uh, left foot. As White. Once again, the Wrexham uh, players are having discussions with the uh, referee. As uh, Winston White waits uh, patiently for the uh, corner. Looking for Steve Davis. Steve Davis just beaten for it. Goes to Brendan O'Connell. O'Connell looking for Davis. Goes back to Paul Atkinson. Atkinson, good ball to Winston White. Winston White gets a bit of fortune there, but a good challenge by the uh, number four, uh, Jeff Hunter. And Winston White adjusts to foul this man. Wrexham fans are giving their team plenty of encouragement after that goal by uh, John Borden. Looking for Borden. Borden flicks it on. Steve Davis gets there. And Steve Garner just gets it back to the, the goalkeeper. And Steve Garner there reacts. What happened there? I felt that Russell had a go at Garner, then like Garner and tried to get him back, sort of thing. And the referee's going to uh, book uh, Steve Garner. And so Steve Garner gets the yellow card. It's a good opportunity for Wrexham. It looks as though num so number three, Darren Wright, could uh, try to bend this one. It's Brian Flynn, or will Brian Flynn knock it wide to Borden? He shoots, but not very good shot as Meesham clears. It only comes to now Jeff Hunter. Can Jeff Hunter lose the ball to Georgia Garner? And Burnley have an opportunity now. Can he find Winston White? He goes the other side for Paul Atkinson. Paul Atkinson crosses, and Joy Jones knocks it out of play. Perhaps in hindsight, the ball should have gone wide. The other, to the other wing, to Winston White, but it's always, uh, it's always easy to say from the stand. So it will be in Britain now to take the corner. Britain curls it in. That's uh, number two there. That's all the time to add that one clear. Paul Atkinson now. Can Paul Atkinson cross it? Looking for O'Gorney. O'Gorney flicks it on well. And uh, unlucky there, he didn't fact. Oh, Connor went for it, but uh, a bit unlucky as the ball went through to Salmon. As the Rexon keeper once again prepares to kick. Brian Flynn now. And the uh, uh, Rexon player, number 10, uh, Russell, is. Uh, Gone into the Burnley offside trap. Yeah. 
<laughs> Steve Davis prepares to uh, take the free kick now. Comstiv out jumped, and it comes to Buxton. And uh, Russell and Garner after Russell and Garner after this throw on. So, and Garner wins the ball excellently. Finds Steve Davis somewhat dangerously, but Burnley played himself out of trouble well. Farrell looking for O'Connell, but his ball doesn't reach him. Does this time though. And O'Connell does excellently. Good ball by Atkinson. And Comstiv there trying to find O'Connor. A bit unlucky. I remember about three or four years watching Burnley and Wrexham play. It was on that New Year's Day and uh, Wrexham went up, went 2-0 went up that game, but uh, Burnley came back superbly and won the match 5-2. So let's hope that for the Burnley fans, uh, they can win this match as, as they did that, that one. But number three, Rats going forward now. But he's challenged well by Steve Davis. Neon Britton brings the ball away. Winston White shouting for it. What a magical ball by Ian Britton. Winston White now. Looking for the first time ball, but Salmon uh, collects it well. But good, pl good ball there by in Britain. Russell and Garner underneath this one, but the ball comes to Farrell. And Farrell uh, can only knock the ball out of play. That will be a throw in to be taken by Salafield. And it's, it's the ball that uh, goes out of play, so it's going to be a throw in for Burnley. So Wrexham, who, uh, the results do go their way, they could go top of the league. Uh, it's Rotherham and Crew on 34 points, uh, with uh, Scarborough on 33 points. So a victory today for Wrexham will, could put them on top of the league. So as Wright has the ball now. It's faced by O'Connell and he just knocks it back to uh, Wright. He knocks it back to the Salmon. Comes now to Southfield. Uh, comes to O'Garney now. O'Garney takes his man on well. Can O'Garney make him inward, inward roads now? Good cross there. Teaser. Was a bit too close to the goalkeeper. Oh, God, news uh, playing quite well this afternoon. As uh, once again, the keeper kicks long. Comes to Meesham, a bad bounce there for Meesham. But Meesham does well to knock it back to Chris Pierce. Burnley's problem, obvious, in the last month or so has been the lack of goals that have been going in. And let's up. So they need really to score two, really, this afternoon. A draw's not really good enough. It's a search for a victory. <laughs> Ian Meesham to Winston White. Winston White overhead kicks to O'Connell. O'Connell there looking for a Winston White run. And a uh, good challenge by Georgia Garner. As, as Darren Wright to uh, take the front near, near his own corner flag. Takes his time. Ian Meesham flicks it on well to Britain. Winston White. O'Connell both left that one to each other. Farrell now. Can he go looking for Comstiv, but Joy Jones intercepts well. Farrell flicks it forward. Was he pushing? Was he fouling Comstiv? Uh, fouling Comstiv. And really, there, Comstiv was trying to take the free kick with the Wrexham players who are running out a yard away from him. Making sure that Comstiv couldn't do that. So O'Connell, Davis and White ready to come in from the far post. But oh, Britain try a shot. Looks for Farrell. Farrell shoots, good effort. And the keeper just tips it over. That's a good shot there by Andy Farrell. It went straight at the keeper, but it was it with a lot of uh, power. The keeper was very happy just to see it go over the crossbar. Winston White once again to take the uh, corner kick. 
Davis underneath this one. Can Comstiff, Comstiff tries to shoot, he does unlucky. Can Amst Atkinson gets in well. It's a chance, the ball's free. It's can Steve Davis turn. He can't though. And once again, Rex have managed to scramble it away. Steve Garner to Ian Britton. Britton to Atkinson. Atkinson sweeps a good ball wide to Winston White. Winston White to Paul Comstiff as Misha makes himself available. But uh, Paul Comstiff loses it and Wrexham could be on the canter now on the break. But it's a poor ball by uh, number four Hunter as he tries to find uh, Buxton. Comstiff now has the ball. Knocks it wide to Britton. Britton comes inside looking for Georgia Garner but that's uh, over it uh, far too much. So a score from Turf Moor is still Burnley nil, Wrexham 1. A goal by number 11, John Borden, separates the team. A, a, it was a good, good play by Brussel and Buxton. The ball came over and Borden, who had a free header from about uh, five yards, finished emphatically. Farrell up for this one. Farrell gets up well. But it will be a throw in for Wrexham. It's taken by Southfield. Once again, Farrell gets up well, but again, he can only knock the ball out for a throw-in. So the ball get, is uh, retrieved. Steve Garner gets in with a good positive ender to Paul Comstiff. And Georgia Garner there, bad foul, but Paul Comstiff has the ball, and Comstiff coming forward, and Comstiff gets fouled badly, and that must be a free kick, that. Will it, be, will it be Brian Flynn or will it be somebody else? It's Brian Flynn. Brian Flynn was tugging with his player, then the Wrexham defender fairly clattered Comstiff. And it looks as though it will be the second booking of the game. And the referee, uh, Mr Mills, is having words with Brian Flynn. And his name will be going into the notebook. And Brian Flynn gets a yellow card. As Britain about to take the kick. Steve Gardner. Winston White. Tries to find his man, but he can't. And it's uh, Ian Meesham for the throwing. Finds George Ogarney. Ogarney twists and turns well. It's a good ball forward. Comstiff there. That's a very and Comstiff had just fouled his man there. Comstiff tried to head the ball in, but uh, the referee awards the uh, a free kick for Wrexham. Wrexham really uh, not rushing to take these free kicks. Britain heads it, but Atkinson can't pick it up. Comes now to Priest. Good ball forward to Van Buxton. Buxton, another good ball into Russell. This is good play, this by Wrexham. And Wrexham have got a chance. Priest comes in, he finds Borden, and he's cleared brilliantly by Britain. Can Brian Flynn shoot? Brian Flynn shoots. He goes straight at uh, Chris Pierce. And Ian Britton there saved a certain goal. As Winston White. Uh, Tries to find O'Connell. And it looked as though it was going to be Borden's second goal there. Winston White coming inside, looking for support. Finds Farrell. Farrell comes forward to Atkinson. Britain making a really good run down the left. Britain everywhere, it seems to be. Britain, good ball in. Comes to Atkinson. Can Atkinson shoot? Didn't really come down for him. Winston White now. Winston White, plenty of art on it. Comstiff flicks it. And Priest now has the ball. Davis in well. 
Comstey veds it down well to Britain. Can Britain cross it? It's looking for O'Gorney. Can O'Gorney turn and twist? O'Gorney does magic there. Comes to Atkinson. Can Atkinson shoot? There's an opening. Atkinson shoots. And the ball just goes wide. Good pressure there by Burnley. Atkinson, who's only scored one goal for Burnley. A good shot. I don't think the goalkeeper left that one. He did go for it, but it just went wide. So good pressure there by Burnley. There's Burnley now desperate to get a goal back before half time. Davis up for this one. Davis heads it. Flynn out jumps Britain. Again, good chance now, and Priest is bearing down on goal. But Davis covers Farrell well with a superb challenge. Jackinson, it's a bad ball though. Farrell knocks it clear. Good, good interception by the Wrexham player. Davis aggressive. But Georgia Garney, yeah, just a foul this man there. So it'll be a free kick for uh, Wrexham. Two yards inside the uh, Burnley half. More like five yards. <laughs> Southfield now to take the uh, free kick. Comstiv heads it out well. George Agarney and Hunter racing for this one. And uh, George Agarney wins the throw as the ball comes off uh, Jeff Hunter. O'Gorney now flicks it on to O'Connell. O'Connell well challenged by Williams. Comstiv now has pick, picked up the loose bits. Trying to find Winston White. And a bit unlucky there. Comes to Borden. Borden a good ball forward. But Steve Davis a tremendous challenge. And the uh, Davis appeal for the throwing. But uh, he didn't get it. And it will be the uh, left full back Darren Wright to take the uh, throwing. Right now. Russell makes himself available. Here it comes to Borden. That uh, just clipped off Winston White's set uh, shins. Ball comes now back to the left back, Darren Wright. He's challenged well. Ball get foot play, played up forward to number 10, Buxton. And that must be a throw into. And it went, it went forward to Borden, but he. Joy Jones there just kicks it anywhere. Steve Davis underneath this one, he wins it well. Brian Flynn picking up the pieces again. Number 11, Borden. Borden on a good run this by Borden. Steve Davis had two work foot tackled in there. But Winston White caught there and Wrexham being very aggressive in the challenge. It promised to be a physical match and uh, it's certainly proven, uh, it's proven to be. George Agarney finds Atkinson. O'Connell. O'Connell now looking for room, finds Atkinson. What can Atkinson do? Trying to find George O'Gorney. Can O'Gorney find Winston White? He can't. It's a good challenge. Borden now trying to find that Priest, who's got plenty of pace about him, but uh, he's not that fast as uh, Garner easily, easily knocks it back to uh, Chris Pierce. now it's not a very good clearance Comstiff to Farrell Farrell turns turns well there can he find Winston White it's a good ball inside the full back Winston White now can he take his man on and beat him good ball in but it's offside Brendan O'Connell offside Winston White trying to find Brendan O'Connell but O'Connell the former Exeter and Portsmouth player just just went offside And then one, so it'll be a free kick once again to be taken by the Wrexham goalkeeper, Max Salmon. <laughs> Salmon kicks long. Comstiv there, heads it. Brian Flynn gets up well. Steve Davis. The Wrexham fans appeal for a free kick, but uh, the referee from uh, Barnsley, Mr. Trelford Mills, 
one of the best in the country, decided uh, not to give the free kick on that occasion. Comstive up for this one. O'Connell, Comstive there, plenty of aggression. Joy Jones, a superb challenge. Late tackle there by Misham on Borden. And Brendan O'Connell does a further late challenge. And the uh, referee is having words with Brendan O'Connell. Wrexham players didn't like that uh, challenge by O'Connell on the number five, Williams. And it looks as though Brendan O'Connell will be the third player to be going in the book this afternoon. So the Wrexham player receives treatment. Brendan O'Connell gets another booking, so that's the third booking this afternoon. Steve Garner and Brendan O'Connell for Burnley and Brian Flynn for Wrexham. So, number five still on the ground, Mark Williams. There's uh, Joy Jones having a laugh with the uh, fans in the uh, Bob Lord stand. I said before, on a terrible, terrible lack of scoring goals. The last goal they scored in the league was at home to Lincoln City on the 8th of November. They failed to score in the last uh, four league matches. That's against Scarborough, Doncaster Rovers, Hartlepool and Hereford. The last time they scored two goals in a league match was on the 29th of October against Cambridge United. As Salmon clears long. Gone a good header there. And with Wrexham again looking very dangerous on the break. Russell now, but well tackled by Farrell. As Farrell comes forward, looks for O'Connell. And Williams, who's made a tremendous recovery, tackles O'Connell. George Agarney after this one. And a good challenge there by uh, O'Garney. And the uh, Wrexham win a free kick, much to the, uh, throwing much to the disgust of the uh, Burnley long side. Farrell, uh, this time to judge to foul this man. Once again, the long side uh, disagree with that one. So it's Neil Southfield to take the free kick. Steve Davis wins the header. And this time it'll be Roger Priest halfway inside the Burnley half to take the throwing. Steve Davis does well there to turn his man. What can Steve Davis do? There's a Glen Roder shuffle. Paul Atkinson, it's very tight. And they've messed it up. It's shot there by Reese. Meesham and Borden run after it. And Meesham does well to find Winston White. But Winston White, has he lost it? He has. Brian Flynn, can he bend one? And a good shot by Brian Flynn. Winston White lost the ball there, but uh, Brian Flynn there. I think he was trying to bend it, but it didn't, it, it didn't bend really, it just went straight. But Chris Pierce, uh, I don't think Chris Pierce knew the ball was going wide because he's certainly made a desperate attempt to get the ball, but uh, in the end it went wide about three yards wide. So another good shot there by the, form, the, the former Claret. Farrell now. Tries to find Winston White, but Winston White a bit slow. And the ball comes to Ian Meesham. Steve Davis now. Looking for O'Connell. O'Connell flicks it on well. But the number three has to turn and just hit it anywhere. Farrell, good. Again, a very late challenge by Farrell. Promises. It's been, as I said, it's already been three bookings. Promises to be a lot more. It's been a very tough match, this. Rain again coming down at Turf Moor. There's Joy Jones, 10, 20 yards, 15 yards inside his own uh, half. Tries to find Borden. Flynn heads it on. Comes to number two, Meesham. But he's challenged well by Borden. Meesham now found Winston Watt. And uh, Borden there fouls Winston Watt. <laughs> Steve Davis now 
looking for George Ogarni. Ogarni controls it lovely on his chest. It's a good challenge by uh, Darren Wright. Misham to take the free kick. Comes to Winston White. A bit short. But Winston White gets the ball. Britain making himself available. Comes to O'Connell. Lovely ball to O'Garney now. What can O'Garney do? O'Garney, no support whatsoever. But Ian Britain wins the ball back well. Looks for O'Garney. And O'Garney looks for Comstiff wide. Can Comstiff try one? A good ball in. Brendan O'Connell hits it. And Brendan O'Connell has scored. And at long last, Burnley has scored. And Brendan O'Connell has scored. Burnley's top goal scorer. It was a goal that Burnley desperately wanted. And a goal scored by Brendan O'Connell. Paul Comstiff finds his man. Nearly the, the Wrexham players were looking at the goalkeeper, but Brendan O'Connell's looping header scored. So that makes the score now. Burnley won, Wrexham won. A goal that Burnley desperately needed. And suddenly Turf Moor has erupted as Pierce kicks long. O'Connell and Jones. Jones wins the ball. Misham now to take the throw in. Brian Flynn gets a foot in, but can Winston White get it? He can't, but it's a throw in for Burnley. The Burnley fans are really getting behind the team now. Winston White throws to Ian Meacham. Meacham slips it, falls in. Paul Comstiff gets up well, but he can only uh, head the ball wide. So it's another, just the goal that Burnley needed that. So it's Burnley 1, Wrexham 1. Wrexham is open the scoring through John Borden. And Burnley equalised with through a goal by their top goal scorer, Brendan O'Connell. So it's Burnley 1, Wrexham 1, as Priest picks up the ball. And he's ch challenged well by Andy Farrell. Ball comes forward, but Steve Davis tackles well. Superb challenge again. Atkinson to Comstiff. It's very tight. And Comstiff does the best thing there to knock it back to Chris Pierce. And it's Chris Pierce now, all blue shirt today. Kicks long. Atkinson underneath this one, but he's misjudges that one. Andy Farrell now, to be careful what he's doing. He knocks it back to the goalkeeper, Chris Pierce. As Chris Pierce dribbles around the penalty area. O'Connell or going underneath this one, but he's well beaten by Joy Jones. Number 10, Russell holds onto the ball terrifically well and knocks a great ball wide to Roger Priest. Priest a good ball forward and Steve Davis has to do some good defending there. But that was a superb ball out by Russell to find Priest. Priest a good intelligent ball in and Steve Davis had to show his class there by just knocking that one out of play. Here with Priest to, to take the corner. Chris Pierce goes for it, never, doesn't really get that close to it. Paul Atkinson now on the charge. Can he find Comstiff? That's a good ball wide to Comstiff. But Winston White now gets it, picks up the ball. Can he find Paul Comstiff? He can. But Paul Comstiff's cross there. Comes off number 11, Borden. Burnley attack well there. Atkinson, good ball to... He was supposed to go to Comstiff, but uh, instead it went to uh, White. But Burnley have another corner to be taken by Winston White. Can they get another just before half time? Winston White deeper. Steve Davis tries to get an head to it. He can't. Paul Atkinson, can he knock the ball wide to Winston White? He can't. He doesn't know what to do with it now. Looks for Winston White. Can Winston White take his man on? George Agarney make himself available. Winston White come inside. Winston White shoots. It's a force. A terrific effort. The bat seemed to be going in there, but it just wasn't quite there. Steve Garner now to Ian Meesham. Ian Meesham now, a lot of room to run into. Tries to find Winston Ware. Superb ball. Winston Ware looks at Farrell, and Farrell dummies it. But to no avail. But it's only come to Steve Davis. To Britain, it's all Burnley. Farrell. 
Three leads it to Britain. And Brendan O'Connell just offside. Superb shot there by Winston Ware. But also, the off the ball running off George Ogorni was a telling factor there. Even though Ogorni wasn't actually involved in the move, his off the ball run made two Wrexham players go with him. That left a gap for Winston Ware, and Winston Ware shot well and it just hit the post. But a good off the ball run by George Ogorni. As now Salmon gets the ball back. Farrell underneath this one, and Farrell wins the ball well. Number two, Southfield locks the ball forward. Russell chasing after this one. Flynn knocks a good ball forward. Comes to Flynn. Flynn shoots. Steve Garner clears. Comes to Winston Watt. Misha made himself available. And he comes on the overlap. Can Misha get to the ball? Knocks the ball in. Joy Jones couldn't clear. But there, superb play. Winston Watt in well. What a game we've got on our hands. George Agoni to Misha. This is superb football, this. Misham, good ball in. Bad header, comes to Borden. Borden kicks it anywhere. Luckily for him, it finds his man. But it, now it comes to Britain. Britain now finding Garner. Garner coming forward. It's a muddy now. What can Garner do? Finds it to Misham. Misham to O'Connell. Can O'Connell keep the ball in? He's looking for Winston White. Can Winston take his man on? Looking for Comstiff. But it's to Farrell now. 35 yards out. Looks for Comstiff. Can Comstiff try to take his man on? Knocks a good ball in. That's a tantalising cross. And the Wrexham defender could only just knock it out for a throw in. But what a good from a, for a goal kick. From, not from a throw in or a goal kick. From a corner kick. Winston White has to take the corner now. These corners have tended to be deeper. <laughs> now he plays it short. Winston White now, can he get a cross in? It's a good ball in. Comstiff up for it. Can Farrell turn? Farrell's a, a fantastic effort. It wasn't that. I think it was by Steve Davis, in fact. He's over it. Just went over. But really, Burnley's play in the last 15 minutes has been superb. And really, they have deserved the second goal. So I'm sure Wrexham will be delighted to go in at half-time. That's the half-time whistle. It's Burnley 1, Wrexham 1, the Burnley goal scorer. First of all, Wrexham scored through John Borden. The equaliser came through Brendan O'Connell. So we're out for the second half as this Burnley will be kicking to the Bob Lord's that, that I mean, Bob Lord stand, the cricket field stand in the second half. So it's Burnley 1, Wrexham 1. Borden after 14 minutes, O'Connell after 40 minutes. Burnley, who ended the first half so impressively, will be able to capitalise with some goals in the second half. Ball goes forward. Again, a bad bounce for Misham, but Misham does well there. Going past Borden easily enough. Looking for Ogarney. Can Comstiff pick it up? Must be a foul by number four, but it's not given. Good ball forward again. Number ten, Russell and Davis are fighting for it. Russell wins the ball. Good ball in, but uh, I thought it was going to be a good ball in, but uh, it was very easy for Chris Pierce. Paul Atkinson now has a ball. Looking for O'Connell, but it's uh, well intercepted by Williams. Number nine, Buxton has a ball. Is that a foul by Britain? It's not given. Winston White picks up pace now. Can Winston White find George Agarney? He can find O'Garney now. O'Garney trying to get past Southfield. Bob Lord stand up, appeal for a free kick, but it wasn't to be. Garner chasing after this one. And it's going to be a throw in for Burnley. Farrell. Looking for Garner. Garner to Davis now. Steve Davis under pressure. Looks for Winston White. It's a bad ball, really, but Winston White does well. And he found Paul Atkinson. Lovely ball, White Atkinson. But Atkinson really didn't go for it. And Atkinson there, should have done possibly better there. But it's a 
Free kicks were taken by Salafiel. Three minutes into the second half. It's still Burnley 1, Wrexham 1. As Salafield kicks long. Farrell, good header. Can George Agarney pick it up? He can't. Atkinson with an header. Brian Flynn knocks it forward. Farrell gets up for the head. Southfield knocks it forward. Garner kicks it anywhere. It's a bit of a scrappy, scrappy start to the second half. Farrell now looking for O'Connell. Bad bounce there, but uh, Williams can just uh, readjust his feet and knock the ball out for a throw him. O'Connell up for this one. Once again, he's out jumped by Williams, but Burnley make pro further progress down the wing. Farrell, George O'Connell's feet to Farrell. Plenty of art, Comsive and Joy Jones underneath this one. Jones wins it. Farrell now has a ball. Farrell turns well. Knocks a good ball forward. It's a bit scrappy. Brian Flynn now kick knocks it forward. Steve Garner, good challenge. Paul Comstiv now. Knocks a good ball wide to Meesham. Meesham to Winston White. Winston White, lovely turn, Meesham. But uh, a bit of misunderstanding between Meesham and O'Connell. And the long ball forward is uh, put out for a throw in for Burnley. Burnley have yet to find the rhythm of the first half. Farrell to Organe. Organe controls well, but uh, can't keep the ball in. Bit unlucky there by Organe. Steve Davis, can he get a good challenge in there? He does. Was he being held? He wasn't. Farrell trying to just uh, look for Atkinson, but he could only knock the ball out for a throw him. Number two, Salafiel has a ball. Looking for Russell. Can Salafiel, good ball in. Priest flicks it on well. Winston White volleys it away. Paul Comstiff does well to find Ian Britton. And Burnley are on the attack. Winston White and Misham are going towards the left. And he's looked for Brendan O'Connell and found him. Britton picks up the ball again. O'Connell making himself available. Good ball to White to Comstiff now. Can Comstiff find his man? And uh, good ball in, and it looked as though Sam were going to drop it behind for an, an embarrassing on goal, but uh, he got it at the second uh, chance. But good play there by Britton, O'Connell, and Comstiv. Farrell up there, but Farrell miss kicks it badly, but uh, luckily it goes to Meesham, and he can uh, knock the ball back to Chris Pierce. Pierce now kicks long. O'Connell and uh, Williams underneath this one. O'Connell does well to just flick it on. Meesham in with a good challenge, but Borden wins it. Was that a foul by Meesham? And Borden, uh, who scored the opening goal after 14 minutes, limps uh, back onto his feet. And it will be Joy Jones, the veteran, three times with Wrexham, Liverpool, Chelsea. He's seen, he's seen and done it all in football. Comstiv now for the header. Bad header by Comstiv though. Comes to Priest. And Priest turned Farrell. It's been forced wide by Paul Atkinson. Is that a foul by Atkinson? It isn't. Atkinson brings it forward. Looking for Georgia Garney. That's a superb ball. And Georgia Garney pick it up. But uh, I don't think there's a foul there. Farrell now. And it's an offside. And I think it was number nine there. Uh, Buxton. Some of the Burnley fans appealing that they should have been play on there because Farrell controlled the ball well with his chest. There's no Wrexham player close to him. As Farrell kicks. Comes to Brian Flynn. G Garner underneath this one and wins it well. Atkinson. That's a bad challenge out by number seven, uh, Priest. And it will be Garner to take the uh, free kick about four yards inside his own half. Farrell now looking for O'Connell and finds him. Is that a foul by his man? And I think Rexham were thinking Brendan O'Connell and balled it, but I think it was the right decision by the referee. 
So Burnley have uh, an opportunity. Ian Britton has curled quite a few in, uh, in recent times um, against York City and also against Scunthorpe away from home. It looks as though it will be a Britton curler just over the wall. Just specialise in these. What can Britton do? Britton curls it and the keeper Simon just tucks it over. Didn't really... I think Britain would have liked if it would have gone close to the corner, but uh, it be, and plenty of bend, but uh, really it was too close to the keeper. As Britain now to take the corner. Trent looking for Costive. Can Winston White pick it up? And, and Winston finds a gap. What can he do? He seems a bit lost. But he does well to win another corner there. Good battling by Winston White. When Winston White takes the corners on the right, they seem, they seem to be deeper, but when Ian Britton takes them, this more seem to be short to the short uh, corner policy. As Comstiff and Farrell are standing in that position now. It's a bit deeper. Davis goes up for the air, but he misses. And it will be uh, Reese to bring the ball away. Reese there, it's a very poor ball by Reese. And can he find Britton? He's got to his first time to Farrell. Farrell to Britain. Britain to Comstiff. Can Comstiff take on number four, Hunter? But Hunter sticks to his task well and just gets a toe poke in to knock the ball out for a throw in. 20 yards out, 20 yards on goal on this left hand side. Oh, Garney now. Is that handball by Georgia Garney? Or is it just a goal kick? No, it's, it is handball. Salmon kicks long. Farrell and Priest underneath this one. And Farrell watches that well. Farrell kept on, kept on challenging. Gone and good header. So it's a throw in midway inside the Burnley half to be taken by Neil Southfield. Number seven now, Priest and uh, Farrell uh, down at that corner. Priest lets it go out, so it's a throw in for Wrexham, about a yard from the corner flag. So I feel now. The throw in. Can Atkinson clear, does clear. Can O'Connell read the bounce well? He tries to flick it on. It's a, it was a very difficult one. Brian Flynn there. What a time to control and chest the ball down. Comstiv now. Comstiv gets up. Can he find Brendan O'Connell? That is a very late challenge by our priest, and he's going to book him. And that was very late, and Paul Comstiv didn't appreciate that challenge. Priest, who uh, just recently got Paul Atkinson fairly late. And uh, Paul Atkinson's uh, fit now. A bit hobbling, though, aren't you? And Priest becomes the fourth player to be booked. Well, is he going to get booked? He's having a long word with the referee. And I don't think he was booked there. So, so I don't think Priest was booked after all that. Garner's free kick was easily intercepted by Priest, because of Priest, but Priest, Priest loses it now to Britain. Britain to Garner. Garner, long ball forward. Oh, Garner there, was it a foul? Steve Garner clears. Steve Garner's got to take away a lot of pace, that back pass, and he does that well. <laughs> Pierce kicks along. Can oh, Garner flick it on? He can't. No, oh, Garnier just to have uh, jumped at his man there. So it's still Re Burnley 1, Wrexham 1. Re Wrexham's goal from John Borden after 14 minutes. Burnley's reply, Brendan O'Connell after 40 minutes. Some 12 minutes gone in the second half. Wrexham on the attack once again through number 10, and Russell. Russell gets a good ball in there, but uh, goes straight to Chris Pierce. Perhaps Atkinson wanted the throw out there from Pierce. O'Connell and Joy Jones go for it. But uh, Joy Jones gets the ball. Look, 
trying to find his strikers, but he can't. So he finds Davis, Garner, back to Chris Pierce. Chris Pierce now, once again, kicks long. Not a very good kick. Atkinson can get a challenge in. Farrell, Farrell can. Looking for Brendan O'Connell. It's a teaser. But uh, Mark Williams does there uh, well. He's been very impressive, the uh, Wrexham number five uh, this afternoon, Mark Williams. Undoubtedly, though, helped by the, uh, the old campaigner, Joy Jones. Constive and Atkinson both going for it. And is that a foul by the uh, Paul Atkinson, the former uh, Alderman Watford player? It's not really got, had a rhythm in the second half yet. A lot of fouls and a lot of goal kicks and free kicks. But no really pattern to the game yet in the second half. Comstock up for this one. Chance here for Wrexham. He didn't, didn't come down. Good effort by Brian Flynn, but uh, didn't have that much pace, to be honest. It's Pierce now. Once again, we'll look for O'Garney and O'Connell. O'Garney and Joy Jones. It comes to Winston White now. Can Winston White take his man on? Inside to O'Garney. O'Garney is a terrific ball in. Can Comstiff just won't come down for Comstiff? Atkinson trying to get a cross in. Ball just won't come down for Comstiff there. I think Comstiff still there. Uh, Seems to be holding his uh, wrist or his shoulder uh, awkwardly. And it will be in Britain to take the free kick. Once again, Farrell and Comstock for the near post. Farrell flicks it on. And the ball flicks on. And luckily for Rex, he went straight in the goalkeeper's hand. Rex over with two on two now on the break. Steve Garner watched watch that one very well for Britain. And Britain looks fans Garner. I think that pass from Garner's got a bit too much pace on it. But it's out. Williams, oh, but Williams as well there uh, brings the ball out well. And uh, knocks a superb ball. It's a great ball to Russell. Russell, good, good cross, and Davis has a good head. Garner, real up and under. Winston White heads it. Paul Atkinson, can he keep it going wide to Comstiff? He can. To O'Connell. To Winston White, but uh, Winston White just let the ball run really too long. But that's a bad ball, sloppy by number four. George Agarney now. Good ball forward to Paul Atkinson now. Brendan O'Connell at the fire pole for it's a poor ball in. And really. A good cross there by Paul Atkinson would have meant to uh, burn in a lot of uh, burn Rex in a lot of trouble. What can Comstiff do down that left? Wins himself another throw in. Comstiff now to O'Connell. O'Connell's chest. O'Connell trying to turn but he's forced a corner. Comstiff short to Britain. Will it be another corner? No, Comstiff keeps it in. I think he'll be looking for another corner. No, he doesn't. Plays it back to Britain. Britain to Atkinson. Atkinson there, looking for Winston White. Bit unlucky. Britain now. Can Britain pick up the pieces? Tries to find Comstiff, but he just can't quite get there. Garner there. Does well to get it back to Chris Pierce. Burnley are on top in this second half. We aren't creating too many chances, though. Misham. Trying to find Winston White. It's a good challenge by number three, uh, Darren Wright. Wright again, looking for uh, number nine, uh, Buxton. And Buxton does well there. He just was going to get in front of Davis, but uh, went out for a throw in for, Rex, for Burnley. Halfway inside, uh, Burnley's half to be taken by Ian Meacham. Garney now, Steve Davis, it's very tight and 
Steve Davis, uh, looks as though the ball was going out of play, but Joy Jones kept it in. Good header by Steve Davis. Winston White and Flynn goes for it. Part of aggression that wrecks him on the attack. But Ian Britton cuts out excellently. But wrecks him have a chance now for his ball into the fans' reads, but uh, it should be easy for Farrell. Wrecks him still on the attack. And Farrell, Farrell can just let that go out. George still going into Comstiff, into feet, O'Connell's feet. But a good challenge there by Joy jo by Rat. By Williams, should I say. <laughs> Farrell now. Farrell, has he lost it in a vital area? Comes to Russell, Russell does well. Free shoots, Brian Flynn shoots. No, it's not Brian Flynn. It's a number nine. Uh, Buxton had a great opportunity. And that was a glorious opportunity for Orexham. Winston White now to pass Paul Atkinson. Paul Atkinson, though, a terrible pass. And up and under, Farrell wins the ball well. Number four, Hunter. Comes to Paul Comstead, to Britain. Britain there does some magical play and knocks it square to Winston White. Meesham available on the right. The poor ball as Joy Jones easily intercepts. Davies a powerful header. Ian Britton now to Meesham. Good ball wide to Winston White. Can he keep it in play? Can he get a crossing now? It's a good crossing. Comstiff controls were a bit unlucky there. Gone a good head to Farrell. Farrell looking for Comstiff. Comstiff in chase. And Williams can only knock the ball out for a throw in. Farrell now. Can O'Gorney latch on to this one? He, he can't, but it's another throw in. About four yards from the corner flag. No, it's a bit more now. Comstiff didn't take it in the right place. Farrell back to Comstiff. Can Comstiff get a good cross in? He's gone past his man now, an opportunity. Comstiff crosses, but it's too close to the keeper. Comstiff did well there to battle away, but his uh, cross was too close to the goalkeeper. Misham has the ball, but he's uh, pursued by Russell. But uh, Burnley get the throw in. So about halfway, halfway through the second half. This second half certainly isn't living up to the billing of the first half. And we've got a substitution. And it's number 12, uh, Cairns, to come on for number seven, uh, Priest. So Ollie Cairns, uh, a player who's been around, as they say. I think he's, uh, he played a long time at Hereford, if I'm uh, not mistaken. So it's Ollie Kearns to come into the front. Comes now to Farrell. Farrell come inside his man well. Looking for George Agarney, but uh, unlucky that by Farrell. It was the right idea, but uh, it's a bit too much pace. <laughs> Salah Field now. Looking for Ollie Kearns, but Farrell wins it well. Atkinson, good head to Atkinson, but uh, unlucky by Atkinson. Steve Davis, good play to Garner. Garner to Comstead, this is good. Looking for O'Connell. Uh, O'Connell, but what a good challenge there by Joy Jones. And another good challenge. And uh, they're both on the ground there. And what's going to happen here? I think it might be a drop ball. As Joey Jones sportingly shakes his hand with Brendan O'Connell. Nice to see that. And uh, the kick there behind the Wrexham player, actually, the other number two on his uh, backside. So it went out. And Paul Atkinson now running forward. George O'Gorney, can he pick the ball up? And I think that'll be a throwing for Burnley. It's the ball that definitely to George O'Gorney's uh, foot.
Paul O'Connor with good head. Can all go on his turn, he can't, but it's throwing for Burnley now. 20 yards inside, 20 yards from goal on this left hand touchline. Comstiff to Ogarney. Ogarney tries to escape from his man, he can't. Farrell is very tight there, looking for Atkinson, but it uh, wasn't a very accurate pass by Farrell. Misham now, good ball to Watt, to Winston Watt. But uh, again, a good tackle challenge by number three, Darren Wright. O'Connell now, can he turn his man? Does well to knock the ball to Atkinson. No, Atkinson, not, just lacking a bit of accuracy there. Steve Davis, O'Connell trying to turn Joy Jones, but Joy Jones once again just got a foot in. And Wrexham again, very dangerous off on the break. And if they can find number nine, Buxton, they do, they do find him, but it was a bit behind him. Southfield now, looking for Ali Cairns. But it's uh, intercepted by, a touch by Davis, now to Farrell. Farrell to Comstiff. Comstiff trying to find old Garner. That was a foul there by George Garner, that was silly. As uh, Wrexham have an opportunity. Burnley, who substitutes today are Gary Rowell, the ex uh, Sunderland and Middlesbrough and Norwich player. And the other substitute is Ashley Oskin. But uh, none of those two players are warming up currently. It will be a free kick for Wrexham. We're taking from Salafield. Chance here for Wrexham. It's not cleared. A number of four strikes. Good effort. Good effort there by Jeff Hunter. The ball just went wide, and uh, I think he would have been goal, but I don't think Chris Pierce would have saved it. So it's Chris Pierce for the kick. Possibly Wrexham's best. Well, they had that scramble early on, but that's another good opportunity for Wrexham now. Comes to Paul Atkinson now. Atkinson looking for Brendan O'Connell and he's on side. They fill in the area now. What can Brendan O'Connell do? Looking for Georgia Garney, but it's just too close to the goalkeeper. Good ball there by Paul Atkinson. It freed Brendan O'Connell, but his uh, cross was just too close to the goalkeeper. Davis. Can Misham just get a foot in? He can, he does well. Steve Garner can bring this forward. Can he find Paul Atkinson? And that is, uh, he's trying to do it with the outside of his right foot and it's a poor ball. Since Priest has gone off number nine, Buxton's gone to the, this right hand wing and Ollie Cairns has gone more into a central striking position. They're looking for Ollie Kearns. Andy Farrell wins it, but uh, can only put the ball out for a throw in. So it's Priest for the. It's not Priest, it's uh, Buxton. Salafield now looking for. Looking for trying, oh, looking for his man, but Farrell intercepted well. And Steve Davis there as well. But a good challenge by Ian Meacham. A lot of good defending in there this afternoon, which possibly some people won't appreciate, but uh, but very good defending, especially by the Wrexham defenders. Joy Jones has marshaled his troops very well. And it's a, oh, an opportunity now. If the ball would have gone to uh, Atkinson there, he could have had a shot on goal. But uh, Farrell there tugging his, uh, pulling the shirt of number 10, uh, Russell. And it will be... Uh, Salafield, who seems to take all the free kicks for Wrexham. There's Burnley players complaining, it should be inside the... Uh, in that half, but uh, the ball goes now back about 10 yards, so just inside Wrexham's own half. The ball's punted forward, gone, reads it well. But uh, Buxton picks up the ball. Southfield goes on the overlap. Can you get a ball in? It's a good cross. And Steve Garner heads it away. Comes to Paul Atkinson with a bit of time. Finds Farrell. George O'Connor. I mean, Brendan O'Connor trying to turn his man. Farrell now looking for O'Connor. O'Connor looking for O'Connor. No, O'Connor. That's a superb ball wide to Winston White. But uh, just couldn't quite find him. That would have been a. A magical pass by Brendan O'Connell. 
And Winston, wow, would have had a good opportunity there, but uh, full credit to the goal scorer for Wrexham board and for getting back well. Winston White flicks it on. Brendan O'Connell tries to get an head to it. He can't, though. But Paul Comstey picks it up now. Can he go forward? Looking for O'Connor. But that's a, a sensible pass there by uh, Comstey. But O'Connor just fell into the trap. Britain goes up for this one. And wrecks him again on the attack. Good ball down to number two, Salafield. Flicked on and Oli Cairns after this one. But Steve Garner intercepts. Oli Cairns tries to uh, get hold of Steve Garner's touch. Uh, the referee quite rightly awards a free kick. Oh, Connell and uh, Jones up for that one. Comes to Earl Garner. Lovely ball wide to Winston White. We just can't get that. And that the uh, challenge by our right just uh, it touched Winston White's ankle. So that's a throwing for Wrexham. So it's 20 yards inside his zone half. Comes back to Jackson. Mean to right. Gardner flicks it, but it's a poor header. Wrexham, that's a superb pass by Hunter to Borden. It's to Ollie Cairns. Ollie Cairns crosses. Good opportunity this, and good turn by Hunter. And that is a superb goal. Jeff Hunter has scored a tremendous goal. Took it on the chest well and fired on a tremendous goal. That is a superb strike on goal. And the Wrexham fans are celebrating. Tremendous goal out. So the goal scorer is Jeff Hunter. So the score now, Burnley 1, Wrexham 2. That goal came with just 17 minutes to go. No, 15 minutes to go, I apologise. Um, what a tremendous goal lately. He had a bit of time, but you've got to give him full credit there for the goal scorer. Winston White now for a crock. Can Winston White get a ball in? Misham can. He's cleared by Hunter. Comes to Paul Atkinson. Paul well, Atkinson looking for all Garney, but it went far too close to the keeper. And the Wrexham fans are celebrating as they search for a third goal. Steve Garner can just touch it, touch it back to Chris Pierce. Pierce back to Meacham now. Meacham looking for Winston Watt. Is that a foul by the full back? It isn't. And uh, number 10 there, Buxton, just off in the offside trap. A tremendous finish there by uh, the Wrexham number four, Jeff Hunter. And uh, there's a substitute as Ashley Oskin starts warming up. I think the obvious replacement is Paul Atkinson. <laughs> Ian Meesham now has a ball. Meesham loses it. Winston White goes in well for a challenge. Winston White battling. That's a late challenge by Winston White. But uh, Wrexham has got the uh, play. It's a good advantage. And Wrexham are on the attack again for number 10, Kevin Russell. Russell, good ball in. It's a tremendous save from Solly Cairns. And Solly Cairns should have scored there. And that should have been the end of the game. And the referee now talking to Winston White for his bad challenge. A tremendous save by Chris Pierce initially off from Buxton. The ball came in invitingly back to Ollie Cairns and really should have finished that. But Cairns flashed badly as the ball went wide, well wide. Britton and Atkinson getting it in each other's way once again. Meesham to Winston White. So Wrexham fans shout, going up, going up. O'Connell now to Winston White. White to O'Connell. What can O'Connell do? That's a good ball wide to Paul Comstiff. Comstiff, an inviting ball in. He just looked as though uh, Jeff Hunter was going to score again. And a substitute for Burnley. And it will be number 14, Ashley Oskin, coming on for Paul Atkinson. And Paul Atkinson doesn't know about it. And I don't think it's been acknowledged. And, uh, 
but eventually Paul Atkinson comes off for Ashley Oskin. Paul Atkinson has had a disappointing game. Winston White now for the corner. Comes to Ashley Oskin. White O'Connor, not O'Connor shoot. Comes to O'Connor and wrecks him on the attack. Two against two. Buxton holds the ball well. And that's a great ball. Wire to uh, Buxton. Sorry, it was Buxton has the ball. It was uh, Russell who found Buxton. And they keep the ball in play, but it's a poor ball by Southfield. George O'Gorney now to Farrell. Farrell to O'Connell. He's not pursuit of it. And Joy Jones can only knock the ball out for a throw in. Ashley Oskin now for the throw in. Looking for George O'Garney. George O'Garney, was he foul there? So Steve Davis goes forward. I think Ian Meacham will be going forward. He's quite a tall player. And it will be uh, Comstive and Oskin around the ball. It will be Comstive to take the uh, free kick. Comstive to Oskin, it's a different free kick. Can Oskin turn? Oskin does well. Turns his man brilliantly. Tries to get a cross in, but he can't. Well, good skill there by Ashley Oskin. And Oskin now for the free kick, oh, for the corner kick. Flicks on by Farrell. Farrell got another touch to it. Comes to Misham now. Misham challenged now by Russell. Comes to Winston Watts. Winston Watts tries to appeals that for the player, but he. Appeals for the ball, but it appeals for the point, should I say? I'm sorry about that. But it's unfortunate for him and unfortunate for Burnley, they can't get it. Britain now to Winston White. Fouled by the uh, number three, Salafield. And it looks as though he will be the fifth player to be booked. So time is running out for Burnley now. About eight minutes to go. Eight minutes to go. Burnley need at least one goal. A draw would be a disappointing result, but I think that's really the only can hope for now. Is Salafield going to be booked? The referee gives long lectures to the players, but I don't think he actually books them. And the attendance is 9,100, so a good gate there at Turf Moor. 9,174. Come see in Britain now. Britain to Davis. Davis, lovely ball right up to Comstiff. Comstiff comes in tack and he tried to bend one. Comes to O'Connell. O'Connell shoots so fast and that was so unlucky. That was a superb turn by Brendan O'Connell. The ball just went wide. So it's still 9,174 spectators at Turf Moor. And they're saying the score currently reads Burnley 1, Wrexham 2. O'Connell for Burnley, Hunter and Borden for Wrexham. Wrexham once again on the attack. Steve Garner has the ball. Please, uh, the ball goes off number 9, Buxton. Farrell now looking for O'Connell, but he can't quite get there. Britain to Farrell, and it's desperately short. Wrexham on the attack again, but it's a poor ball by number nine, Buxton. So, the depressing run that Burnley have had since really end of October is set to continue. It was a miserable November and December. We're on the 26th, and we're still looking for the first victory. Pierce kicks this to Comstiff. Comstiff flicks it on to O'Connell. O'Connell to Oskin. Can Oskin attempt to take his man on? He's trying. Puts a good ball in, but again, it's too close to the goalkeeper. The number of times that's happened today has been quite large. 
Baskin does seem to have added something since he's come on. Comes to Steve Davis. Davis is back to Chris Pierce. O'Connell underneath this one. Can Comstiff pick it up? He can't. Southfield knocks a ball, but he can only find Meesham. What can Meesham do? He's running into trouble. He knocks a great ball wide to Oskin. Oskin must be looking for Comstiff. He can. Oh, God, he's not in the penalty box yet. And then, uh, luckily there for Wrexham, they bring the ball away. And uh, Wrexham appeal for a free kick, but uh, it's not given. Farrell now. Oh, Garney making a good run. And he finds him. What can Oh, Garney do now? Back to Farrell. But it's, he's a cut out by Joy Jones. Ashley Askin now, what can Oskin do? He's, he's so close there, he's trying to dribble himself through a lot, but he can't, and Brian Flynn now on the attack. But a good challenge back by Ashley Oskin. Ian Britton now looking for Winston White. Winston White now, can he get a cross in? Doing some good trickery, good ball in, George Agarney tries to flick it on, and it's another corner for Burnley. Wrexham de defending desperately, and it's Joy Jones now down. So Wrexham physiotherapist goes, comes on. The Burnley fans are a bit annoyed at this, but I think uh, Joy Jones is a very hard player, so I don't think he'll, gone, he'll go down needlessly. But uh, as so often happens, the time the physiotherapist gets to the scene, the injured player is already on his feet. Joy Jones, a bit of a fork here at Wrexham. 68 times he's been capped for Wales. A real servant for his country and to Wrexham. And Joy Jones is hobbling, but he's such a character, I'm sure he'll carry on. Winston White now for the corner. Ollie Cairns heads it away. Farrell and Flynn. And Farrell there, just a uh, foul Flynn. And Farrell about six, six, six or seven inches bigger than Flynn. So the Wrexham fans in really good voice. And time is run, desperately running out for the Clarets. Farrell has a ball now. Looking for Britain, but he can't find him. It's easily headed out by Williams. Ashley Oskin. Looking for old Garney, but it's, it's can't find his man. Hunter. Free for a Southfield. Ollie Kearns heads it on well. And, and Ollie Kearns does well there. Good skill to find Buxton. Buxton, good ball in. And Buxton's got a chance. Buxton shoots, but the ball goes well up. Well wide. <laughs> So just a couple of minutes to go now. Thought Burnley could put Steve Davis up front for the, la for the last five minutes. So if he can get his head to one of these free kicks and corners that they get plenty off. But there, number four, Jeff Hunter, clear free header. Farrell now, knocks the ball forward, finds George O'Garney. George O'Garney knocks the ball. Knocks the ball. It looked as though George Garney knocked the ball out, but... Uh, the referee decided it was uh, the Wrexham player. Britain now has a ball. Oskin looking for Georgia Garnin. Oh, Garnin there was caught asleep. And Garnin now trying to find his man, but it comes to Cairns. And Borden tries to shoot, but that just sums it up. Borden shot, and he's still got the ball. Number 10, Russell now. He's going past his man easily. And Flynn the challenge, good challenge, and it could be free one. He's offside, Cairns. But Cairns is offside. And that is unbelievable. The referee put his flag up. The referee put his flag up. Then his, the linesman put his flag up. Then he put it down straight away. And that's an incredible decision. He put his flag up for an offside. And straight away, he put it back down. 
And that is the final nail in the coffin. And Wrexham now a 3-1 up. The goal scorer there, Darren Wright. And the Wrexham fans celebrating a controversial incident. It's a final nail in the coffin. And the Burnley fans are furious at the linesman. And the Wrexham fans are really celebrating in the way end. And Wrexham again on the attack. It, it did look offside, I have to say that. And it's another defeat for the Clarets. And it just comes to Andy Farrell now. Farrell tackled by Hunter. And Burnley seem to have lost their heads completely. So it's Burnley 1, Wrexham 3. The Wrexham fans, delirious. Comstiv now, can, can, what can Comstiv do? Back to Oskin, it's all too late now. What can Oskin do now? Crosses, tries to find O'Connell, but it's cleared well. Misham has the ball now to Winston White. Can Winston White get a crossing? But it's easily headed out by Williams. And Wrexham on the attack again. And really, second half, Wrexham have defended well and looked dangerous on the break. Long ball forward. Number nine, Buxton, who's been prepared to run for everything this afternoon. And Oskin back to... Oskin back to... Uh, Pierce. Southfield kicks long. And Wrexham on the attack once again. And this time it's a free kick. For Burnley, the referee gives it. The Burnley fans are uh, keeping the linesman uh, company down on that side. As Pierce kicks long. Flynn picked up the ball now. To Cairns. To Buxton. Good ball forward, Ali Cairns running forward. And he's given an offside this time. It was 2-1 at the time, and there's only a couple of minutes to go, so even though it has cost Burnley a goal, I don't think it has changed the result of the game. You have to say that. Britain now has the ball. Britain trying to get a crossing, but Joy Jones clears well. And it goes in the uh, segregation side, of the set in the segregation end. And all the Wrexham fans have all come down to the front now to cheer on their heroes. Gardner now coming forward to Farrell. Oskin now. O'Connell and Oskin. O'Connell going nowhere, he's got no support. Farrell looking for O'Garner. He comes now to Buxton. Winston White now has the ball. Winston White, easily robbed, now he's tugging the shirts of number 10. I think that's more out of frustration than anything else. So it's Burnley 1, Wrexham 3. Burnley goal scorer Brendan O'Connell after 40 minutes. Borden open the scoring for Wrexham. Then goals in the second half from Hunter and Wright. They made the game safe. And that is the end of the game. The Burnley fans are disappointed. Full time score is Burnley 1, Wrexham 3. O'Connell for Burnley, the, goal, the, the Wrexham goal scorers, Borden, Hunter, and Salaf, and Rat.